in this tutorial we are going to understand some basic things about xenobiotic metabolism well first of all we need to know what exactly a xenobiotic is the basic definition of a xenobiotic is that it is a compound that is foreign to the body now a xenobiotic could be anything foreign such as drugs which includes uh, industrial such as pharmaceutical industrial waste hospitals medical centers animals and human waste the pesticides may include agricultural waste or uh, the stuff they have and uh, the chemicals may include the chemical industries now let's see uh, something about its metabolism well uh, this xenobiotic metabolism occurs in two phases the first one is called phase 1 reactions and the second is called phase 2 reactions by undergoing through these two phases the xenobiotic is ultimately eliminated from the body via urine now let's understand this through this figure consider here is a xenobiotic it is getting accumulated somewhere in the body now if this xenobiotic is lipophilic in nature it is going to be metabolically stable by this statement i mean that it would be easy for this xenobiotic to cross the plasma membrane as you all know that our cell membranes are made up of lipids so it may cross the membrane and enter the cell to overcome this situation the phase 1 metabolism reaction takes place this phase includes reactions such as oxidation reduction and hydrolysis this phase of reaction would lead to either the activation or inactivation of the xenobiotic activation of the xenobiotic means that the compound would be converted to more active metabolite more active metabolite some of the examples including this activation of the drug may include codeine to morphine here this morphine is more active than the parent compound that is codeine on the other hand bio inactivation means the active drug is converted to a less active or inactive metabolite less active the example of this type of inactivation may include the conversion of phenobarbitone to a less active substance called beta hydroxy barbitone now these phase 1 reactions of either activation or inactivation includes reactions such as oxidation reduction and hydrolysis as i have mentioned earlier after the phase 1 metabolism reaction the xenobiotic has now become more polar and this means that uh, the drug is now less lipophilic but our ultimate goal is to make it hydrophilic so that it can be eliminated out of the body via urine this hydrophilicity to the xenobiotic is provided by the phase 2 reaction these occur via the conjugation of the xenobiotic with certain compounds such as udp glucuronic acid so ultimately the compound becomes hydrophilic and is excreted via urine however if the substance is polar the phase 1 metabolism is bypassed by it and if it is hydrophilic it can be easily removed out of the body